Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Flask on Microsoft Windows 10. So I assume that you already have installed Python. If you need, in, need help installing Python and PIP on your system, Microsoft Windows system, you simply go to python.org and then put your cursor on downloads and hit this button that says Python 3.7.3 this may change when you're going to download and install it if you need help installing Python you can go ahead and watch my video on how to install Python on Microsoft Windows 10 so let's go ahead and check what version of Python and PIP I have on my system so to check you simply type Python space hyphen uppercase V and you'll see I've got 3.7.3 similarly go goes with pip so pip space hyphen uppercase v and i've got 19.0.3 now what you need to do is basically you will go ahead and create a folder wherever you wish you can go ahead and create a folder i'm going to create it on desktop and i'm going to name it pybox okay okay here now we need to use the command prompt to navigate uh, this to this folder so simply say cd change directory to desktop cd to this particular folder whatever name of the folder you have given i'm going to clear the screen now we can go ahead and in, and install the python virtual environment within this folder so to install it we simply go ahead and say pi hyphen space hyphen 3 space hyphen m v and v and you can name whatever you want but i'm going to name it ven okay so this is the package name this is the local name then i'm going to hit enter this shouldn't take a long time and you can see here in just a moment okay so it's been downloaded it's just been installed here and shouldn't take a long time but it's microsoft windows you can see it's been installed here now what we need to do we can go ahead and have a look this is the virtual environment that we just installed now we need to go ahead and activate it so you say when which is the folder name whatever name you have given uh, backslash and then you say scripts not script scripts and then you say activate so this is what you've done this is the local folder name uh, um, backslash and then scripts and then backslash then activate and you can see it's been activated if the folder name is before this directory path that means your virtual environment is activated now we will go ahead and install the flask so you simply say pip install flask so you can see it's just trying to install it it's going to install a lot of packages and we are done okay so all it's trying to say is pip is a little bit older you can upgrade it but just forget it for the moment now we have just installed flask we can go ahead and check flask space hyphen hyphen version and you can see i've got um, this is the latest one flask 1.0.3 now we can go ahead and create a folder here make dir and i can say demo app okay and i'm going to change to demo app quickly going to create uh, close it i don't know where well i need it so what i'm going to do here i'm going to launch the uh, sublime text drag this demo app folder in the sublime text and i'm quickly going to create a file we're going to check the flask here and name it app.file then what I'm going to say here from flask 
sim4 class okay so you can see here we this is the package name this is the class name within this package and this is we are trying to sim4 now i can go ahead and create an instance so i can say app and then flask here we will have to say name then we will quickly go ahead and use the decorator so app dot route and the route is going to be the home directory and then we are going to create a function which is going to be home and we are going to return something so let's say hello from class app dot file file I'm going to save it it should work now I'm going to launch the uh, PowerShell you can launch whatever you want so I'm in this demo app here I can simply go ahead and say flask run and it should run you can see as soon as we ran this command it has created a folder file cache and it's running this application on this localhost column 5000 so I can go ahead and check it here localhost column 5000 here we are so hello from flask app dot file Fine. you can see it here so that's it for this video if you have any issue installing flask on your microsoft operating system you can leave comment below i will try to answer it asap and that's it for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now